We are joined by uh, Mr. Abdallah Chadband, who is the Senior Technical Director at the Division of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment. Good morning. Good morning and thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure Good. having you. Um, what is happening with the Claude Noel Highway right now? All right, um, just some history as to why we need this project. The wearing course for the highway, especially between Rockley Vale and the Orange Hill traffic light, we're seeing significant deterioration. Um, cars find themselves having to veer onto the shoulder or actually veer into the um, other lane as you head towards Scarborough. Um, there has been accidents there, so it's become critical now that we are rehabilitating the highway. It was called to start a bit earlier, but we decided to do some value engineering mm -hmm. and make sure that we um, adjust the slip lanes as well. We've cleared the tender process and um, we are at the contract negotiation stage. So we expect that works would start in February. Right. And how long is this contract negotiation stage going to take? We expect it to be completed within two weeks. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then after they would it would go back to the MTSs, who is the um, procurement managers on our behalf, mm -hmm. go back to their um, their recommendation on uh, committee and their board, and um, the official award would take place. Right. Um, and the project is estimated to cost about $30 million, I understand? Yes, and that's why the negotiation is taking place. The tenders came in higher than that cost, so um, MTS is negotiating on our behalf to make sure we bring down the cost. Right. And this is to rehabilitate over two kilometers strip of the Claude Noel Highway in the first phase. Yes, I just lost my earpiece. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, after further value engineering, the assessment by the Division of Infrastructure, the project managers and MTS, it was determined that the improvements to merging the lanes at the Rockley Vale and Wilson Road traffic lights would be a worthwhile endeavor. So that is something that, you know, is probably important for the people. What are people saying and how are they accepting this, uh, this upgrade? Well, I mean, anybody who lives here and um, would have used here have been complaining about this for a few years. Um, it has gone to a critical point. Uh, I think um, the, the public would be very, very happy to hear that this is taking place now. And, and initially it was said that uh, the work would start in February, but that may, may take a bit longer. Um, we're still on target for February. Okay. I would have wanted the project to start at the beginning of February, but I suspect that will push, um, say, about the 14th of February. Yeah. Um, I, I want to talk now about the Thompson River Bridge project. What is happening with that? No problem. All right. Um, trying to plan with the design consultants, NITCO, our project managers, and the procurement managers on our behalf. Um, the technical evaluation of the tenders has already been completed. The financial packages have been opened, and those are being evaluated now. We expect that the award for this would happen in February, so this one will start in March. Um, again, the reason why this is important, Thompson River Bridge is a single lane traffic bridge. And um, we're trying to eliminate as many bottlenecks along the Mil Milford Road as we can. Mm -hmm. So this will require the dueling of this bridge. We've already completed the dueling of the Lambo River Bridge. And how much is this expected to cost? At present, we expect it to cost anywhere between 25 to $35 million. There's a reason why I'm being very tentative. I yeah. don't want to prejudice the um, process. The tender is still going on and there yeah. are evaluations. So I just want to give a ballpark figure, but um, I have a fair idea what the exact cost would be, but I don't want to prejudice this. Is the, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but so people would wait to find out that a little bit later on. You know, recent times you hear a lot of people talking about transparency. And, and that is One important. One of the things I will, I will guarantee, the evaluation is not even being done by the, the THA itself. Mm -hmm. um, NICO is handling this independently, so we do have practically a hand in this. Um, I'm just being cautious not to prejudice this, this system, but um, yes, all information will be given. Um, Mr. Abdallah Chadband, uh, Senior Technical Coordinator, Division of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment, thank you very much for joining us.